Hi everybody, how are you today? I'm Patricia, welcome to my channel. My channel is about Ascension, specifically Twin Flame Ascension and everything that's involved with it. Today I want to wish you a happy Epiphany Day. What is this all about? Well, it's not celebrated by every culture, but it's celebrated by a lot of cultures I am personally connected to. In Ireland, it is a day of uh, the women to celebrate women and actually to honor and thank the women who tirelessly have worked throughout the holidays from Christmas to New Year's to make sure that it's a special time for everybody concerned. Cooking, cleaning, baking, doing decorating, doing all kinds of stuff. And even if that's not always applicable in modern times, I kind of like that there is some honoring of women. Okay, for, you know, what we contribute. Of course, men contribute too. In Poland, this was a day for giving gifts to little children. And as a kid growing up, it was really hard to understand why my busha was giving me oranges or other little sweet treats that were kind of obscure to me when all I wanted was a Hershey's bar. But she was honoring that tradition that she grew up with. And in other places, kids put out their shoes and get little treats um, or, you know, they get some acknowledgement about it. What is epiphany? Epiphany is means the manifestation of a divine being. So I think that's particularly significant this year because many people are really going through ascension in earnest. You're going to see signs of it all around you. It's not just in platitudes that you hear. It's going to be in physical symptoms. It's going to be in dream time. And many people really won't know what to do with it. That's why I'm here. That's why I have a gift to teach this. Because it is some of the stuff that gets baffling. Are you... Hispanic? Do you have a tradition based in Mexico? Are you part Mexican? Or another country that has carried over some of this epiphany tradition? I'm sorry, I can't name everyone because I'll probably forget someone, but please know I do respect you and I honor it because I have a lot of friends here in the Chicago area from all different countries. And this is a very special day. In some ways, this is probably even uh, more so as a special day. This is a day of renewal, but I'm going to tell you one of the significant things that I believe is very significant for this year. It's called King's Day. Now, what this has signified is three, uh, they're sometimes called wise men, but they were actually kings. So whether or not they were minor nobility or the biggest king ever, they came to visit the baby. Now, that was a real turmoil time. That was a time of being hounded. Herod had sent out an order to, like, hunt down all the baby boy children. And they had escaped. And these people went looking for them and were guided to them. They brought gifts. So I find it very symbolic of older men or even dads, grandpas, passing something to their younger children. Now, the epiphany of this year that people are going to experience is a way to get away from a lot of the tribal damage, ancestral damage, and it's going to be more broad-based, meaning it is having an effect on other people, which is a blessing in disguise if people pay attention to what is happening. Now, something that I realized about this, because I kept getting the word for weeks, I was getting the word epiphany, epiphany, epiphany. And many people think of an epiphany as sort of one of those mental light bulb moments, like, oh, some inventor just had an epiphany. But it is much deeper than that. It's a quest. It's a journey. It's a discovery. And it is something divine. It's not just, you know, um, let's say maybe a lower level level of a spiritual experience. People can have those all the time um, in different places. You know, like they'll read a little piece of, of something and it's like, wow, that touched my heart. That doesn't, doesn't diminish the significance of it, but we're headed into bigger things right now. 
The bigger thing for you is really what your body can do, what your light body can do. Super immune system, okay? And I'm just going to say this because now that I know about COVID, I got sick with COVID in 2019. We had a wave of some weird illness that waved through Chicago before anyone really knew what it was. And, you know, I, I had to cancel someone's appointment. I don't think that she's still forgiven me because it was so out of character. But regardless, I did the right thing. I got pretty darn sick. I bounced out of it. I put it to work in what I knew what to do. In fact, I wrote a mini ebook because I came to realize that a lot of healthy people kind of go along and aren't really aware of things like wound care, self-care. It's something that's coming into your wheelhouse to learn what is real self-care. What is self-care at the human level? What is self-care at your light body level? And what is what do you need to do as a twin flame? Because that, my friends, is what I am here to remind you of. Your why. Why did you go seeking answers? Why are you watching this video? Why did you have an experience to begin with? It was to awaken you. It was to activate you. It was to upgrade you. It was to up-level you. It was for your epiphany. It was for your transformation. Now, you are a living bridge, and there's still time to take, with this retrograde, to take the proper actions. Look, every retrograde is going to mess with your relationships, whether it's your relationship to an electronic device, like your laptop or your phone. Okay, that happens. Why does it happen? It's because our energies are much larger than those tiny devices. Even a bigger device, such as a computer or a car, we can still wave in and, you know, throw the little circuitry and wiring off. It's small by comparison to your huge connections. You have an opportunity here for reweaving, redoing things. And it's, it's a bit of a reset and a refocus for people. For some people, it, it, you're just starting off. If you are just starting off, please join because you will get correct information that you can apply to your situation and your body and literally bypass years of gobbledygook, bad information out there, misinformation. It is a misconcept that this isn't happening. It is a misconcept that people aren't ascending or somehow ascension doesn't exist. Now, I was working with someone, and they were in a position where, um, because of their age, they were old enough and yet still a dependent for their parent. And her mom asked me, she was like, but what is this ascension? Doesn't that take 50 years? And I was thinking to myself, this is very new to her. This is very alarming because it's happening to her daughter and not to her. And something that she thinks takes 50 years she looks at that in the context of her kid and saying, is my kid going to be suffering like this for 50 years? And the short answer is no. Okay, so this year is the year to really get started, to really get adept, to really try out all the bells and whistles. It's like someone, this is a joke I used to make with a friend of mine when I talk about the light body, because as I started understanding more and sketching out it out and creating diagrams of where the connections are and what to do, I said, look, because we're Americans, okay, like this is a context I put it in. You can have like a muscle car from the 60s. It was a really hot ticket for its time. It had a big, you know, 350 engine, big block, you know, General Motors made it and it was the rage, right? Or you can have a hot new modern car with a lot more bells and whistles, but you got to find out what those bells and whistles are, okay? And, you know, this is what I put it in a context with. Same type of vehicle. Your light body is your vehicle. Your light body is your bridge. Your chakras are connection points for specific system requirements, 
and I mean your body's system. You have some really deep emotional things that still need to come out from your cosmic level, from your galactic level. Only you can do the internal balancing between your higher self and the lower self, which is your physical human self, and the masculine and feminine on the bridge to the fifth dimension. It's up to each of you. And a lot of people feel like that's lopsided. And I'm going to tell you this. That's because you are not looking at it in the proper scope. You're looking at people who say, I'm doing all the work and that person isn't doing anything. In fact, they're enjoying their life. They're usually not really looking at themselves and seeing what they could change. And I have no illusions about that. I talk, I've talked to a number of people that stay stuck by choice, in a marriage that they could get out of. Like, I know that some people just cannot for various reasons. I get that, okay? I'm not here to break up people's marriages. Your soul will take care of that. If you are not doing the proper steps, though, that is where people make their errors. And they find that they drag and they delay. So this is going to be a year for getting on board with this and really understanding what it can do for you, what it's like to have a super immune system. Because that experience that I went through, I had every single symptom that they say, and I survived it. And this was before there's a lot of things. But let's face it, there are people that are not going to do the work, okay? I have some of those people in my own family. I make a suggestion and they say like, well, you know, I'm a, I'm a meat and potatoes kind of person. I'm going to do it my way. And yeah, it takes them a year or longer to do something that could take them a few months. So I'm encouraging you, take the high road, take the way, join my class where I can help you. It is starting up January 9th. We are going to get chakras open. We're going to talk about stages of ascension. We're going to talk about some of that. We're going to talk about what to do and how to surrender to continue a unification process, okay? And again, another concept, people think in their heads that union means you're living with someone, okay? That is not what the first part of this process is. It is unifying parts of yourself that have to um, sort of solidify so that it stabilizes you, so you can do the next steps, I hope that makes sense to you because that is what brings about balance and harmony and safety, okay? There's a lot of things that might feel unsafe to you. There's a lot of things that might feel fearful to you. And a lot of it's based on hearsay, okay? And what I'm saying to you is that when you get those connections in place, you have your own epiphany, which means the rising up of your own divinity, you do have a connection to divinity. You are a divine, magnificent being. And if you don't believe you're a miracle, it's time to start. Okay? I understand every aspect of it because my guidance has been such that people have come into my acquaintanceship so that I learn. I've learned to stay open. I'm going to say that to you. If you are having trouble sleeping and you're getting woken up and it feels like you can't get back to sleep, there's a reason for it. But I would say this. This is a tip I have in my Ascension and Sleep book. Make sure that you are asking, what do you got for me tonight? Okay, like flip that attitude around even if you genuinely need your sleep, and a lot of people do, you need your eight hours, your 10 hours, your six hours, whatever it is, be bright and cheerful and say, what do you got for me? Okay, because you are being woken up for a reason. Now, in my book, I teach you how to not only sink back into sleep, but allow it to get you into that lucid state. Okay, there are levels and there's levels. Don't hit yourself on the glass ceiling of where you're just putting yourself. Let's get you to the next place on your journey. Okay? Thank you so much for watching. Please check the links below. 
reach out with questions, Patricia at TwinFlamesMerge at Gmail, or check out my website, TwinFlamesMerge.com, because I help you with that soul merge. That's how you really feel it. Bye.